Nima, how are you? Hi, good. How are you? Doing great. Uh, so thank you for being part of the rom-com renaissance. I know that's and right. Yes. <laughs> my, favorite, my favorite new thing. I would like the crown, back. please. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just so happy that they're back. And yeah. for you, though, as a director, what is it kind of about this genre that's fun to play in and get to kind of mess around with behind the lens? For me, it's really the intimacy, number one, you know, the being able to emulate that feeling of falling in love is something that I want to do across any genre. So, but you can really dive in on a rom-com. And then the other part of it, the comedy, the humor, like how we cope with life, how, you know, how we joke about things, how falling in love is funny and hilarious um, as it gets messier and messier and you're, you're trying to, you know, kind of survive this thing called the beginning of a relationship. So yeah, that's what really draws me to it. I really think that I've been doing rom-coms my whole life. <laughs> so to be able to actually do it in feature film form uh, feels really good. Yeah. And I, I do love it too, because it's a, uh, you have just two legends in this movie because mm -hmm. it's Gina Torres and Gabrielle Union, which yes. I feel like is kind of <laughs> like, if you grew up in the nineties or the early two thousands, you're like, I can spot those two from a oh, mile yeah. away. And anything, <laughs> Icons. But for you, what is kind of the exciting part of like getting to tell a story with these two actresses who are so kind of iconic for different roles, but this is so unique and new for them as actresses as well. Well, the most exciting part for me was be able to, to take them both to places that they wanted to go and maybe didn't have the exact opportunity to do. So for Gabrielle, that was really about her wanting to show the other side of ambition, you know, not just the cutthroat side, but the side, the vulnerable side, you know, the the side, the softer side, um, the failure piece of it, you know, what, is, what does failure look like on us? What does the next chapter look like after a failure, so to speak? And for Gina, um, it was great because a lot of times, you know, she's, you know, one of our greatest actresses. And a lot of times, you know, she plays, a, you know, always someone in power, but buttoned up in a way. And she got to let loose a little bit more, you know, and really, you know, step into all these incredible costumes. And I just encouraged her to be, to just have fun with it, be really playful with it, to really go all the way there. And she, she jumped at it and, you know, she, um, I can't imagine anyone else fulfilling that role. She just really killed it. Yeah, and I I talked to Keith and Gabrielle and Gina earlier, <laughs> and I said to Keith was talking about how much fun it was, and I was like, yeah, and you can tell when movies are fun because then you have fun when you're watching them. Right. And it is kind of, I think, comedies and rom-coms especially lend themselves to letting audiences have a bit more fun and a relaxed energy in watching it because you're not, you know trying to solve a murder mystery it's a love <laughs> which is cool too uh, yeah <laughs> yeah and yeah, yeah. And they're all cool but mm -hmm. it's like rock after addictive because you're like it's really nice to be in here yeah and so when you are having that much fun on set is it easier for you to capture kind of like the joy that a rom-com has to have as part of it because it is a more relaxed setting well if anything i got on people's nerves by like telling them to have fun you know <laughs> They were like, what do you mean? You know, of course they want to have fun, but that may not be how the table's always set, you know, you know, from job to job. Mm -hmm. And I was like, no, at this table, this is what we're doing. You know, what's our way into fun today? You know, so we'd be like, just don't worry about the script. Just speak from your heart. Just go for it. We did a lot of improv. Um, you know, I would see or observe something and go whisper in one of their ears and say, you know, try that. What do you think about this? So there was a lot of, you know, collaboration around performance. Um, and then I would just go in there and <laughs> tweak things up and down, but just gave a lot of room to play. And um, people were ready to play. So, so we got something good. I love it. Um, and real quick, uh, what do you hope audiences take away when they get to finally see the perfect find? Uh, to believe in love again, to fall in love, uh, no matter how messy it gets, you know, to believe in the experience and go for it. Awesome. Thank you so much for talking with me today. Thank I you. really appreciate it. Have a good one.